Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Ohm Building Automation Solution. Um, so let's get started. Uh, today we will see how to create offline database or the device manager uh, uh, without going live. So there are a couple of ways to do it. Um, so uh, let's get started. Uh, okay, so so when you go to compass and go to device manager so your device manager window uh, pops up so in this manager uh, you have an option to add device so let's say let's say there are right um, let's say there is a vav controller right so we will call that as uh, unitary controller uh, basically uh, so let's choose unitary controller and then we will call the device instance as let's say 2000 and let's call this um, unitary controller probably maybe a vav mm. so we'll call it as a vav vav let's call it as vav 01 uh, device location maybe office then object name we could give the uh, number let's say 1001 and network uh, from the backnet network let's say it is scanning from 101 and let's say this is the first VAV so we will call it as one so here there are a few other properties uh, we will just uh, ignore this for now if you would like to uh, make a separate video for all this property. Please comment uh, uh, in the section uh, So I will definitely go ahead and make the video for that as well So this is the different identification section uh, when you go to capabilities So you see that there are so many options here So there is a quick way of selecting this so that is uh, just going into this auto select and selecting unitary control so what this does is so it will auto default to the type of vav so we know that it's a vav flow sensor setup and then it will choose bd4 as the ddc file uh, which are the two main configurations i believe uh, but again so you could also need like what kind of rock is supported and uh, supports the device instance numbering or not so yes that is automatically chosen so in the preferences uh, we could enable time offset if needed uh, currently the host controller is always a global controller where all the trend schedules and alarms are hosted currently no need to set up any of these uh, so we will ignore and just click ok on this so so you can see that a vav01 is uh, created so that's a unitary controller similarly uh, you could go and add multiple uh, devices based on the type it, it may be global controller advanced vip controllers or a bcm uh, so advanced uh, uh, unitary control which is a vlc uh, 1688 and so on so you could also add a gateway router and wireless device so i will not be co covering that under this section so this is the um, this is how uh, you basically add a device into device manager so you could create this offline uh, if you if you know the network number if you know the MAC address and so on so and uh, uh, yeah so that's how you create the offline database type one so there is another method uh, let me uh, let us jump on that because that is more uh, I would say productive way of doing it i generally do the do it in the by using the builder files that you are aware of so let's see um, how it is done there let me pause the video for a second hello everyone welcome back um, so so currently uh, in the step one we saw how to manually add devices in the device manager by using the feature called add a device uh, that is a manual process where you have to add one device at a time uh, let us see how to add multiple vavs um, or any mstp device that is connected under the same network 
Okay, so this is ACM Builder uh, file. So let's create a global file. So I will not go through all the details here. Uh, please comment me in the comment section if you would like to a detailed video on how to configure this. So I used to use this in day-to-day -day job where I used to keep the IP address handy and uh, all the device settings ready. So we'll click OK. So we see an MSTP um, device has been created so we will call this device as the global device is 2000 we will call this first we have thousand or let's say because we have already 2001 so we will call it as 2001 and then let's say we want to add 32 devices so yeah 32 devices are there so now the device controller module so you can refer column 8 for that um, so for now i'll consider VABSD as my device model number description let us call it as vav underscore zero one So we have added description and this is the device object name. Let's leave it in the location. You could add like office, then meeting room, uh, then maybe lobby, etc. So 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 you can choose um, different names for different areas so here once we are in the application let's say the ddc file name name as vav so you could choose vav as your file name which is the ddc file name or you can say vavc for your cooling and then let's say vav 5 has only heating then you can call the ddc file as heating and so on so you could define your program file here so once this is created um, uh, so there is a few other settings let's say if the loop is if the mstp loop is set up for 76 uh, 800 yeah you could choose that um, then make sure uh, your host um, mstp network number is matching with currently we were using 101 i believe in the previous one but again just make sure you have to update this and uh, and yeah so th that's all uh, that that's all what you have to do here so once so you can see there is mstp0 here so there are instances when you have maybe six mstp devices on the same acm so you just go back to config acm gc and try to add multiple uh, comports or enable comports uh, on them so so once this is have all the devices configured here uh, with the device instance and the mac id uh, so so then the next step will be um assigning the locations and assigning the ddc that we discussed about so after that um, so we have to update all this device um, so there are 32 devices when you click on the update button so it gives you the total number of devices that are present under one mstp network um, so once this uh, is ready so you could just go to update device manager and select add all device all backnet devices in the active worksheet so you could do that or you could select particular devices and say add selected backnet devices from active sheet so if you want acm manager to be added you could select those as well by clicking the check mark here so currently i'm not doing it so let's see what happens if we say add all devices in the worksheet we'll say add all devices so the total of 32 devices were added into device uh, manager so where the backtalk.mdb file is updated we'll click ok let's go back to alerton 
let's close this window again okay let's go to compass go to device manager and we can see that the application is the ddc file which you can see that it is already taken from the spreadsheet and the number of devices that was added to this particular uh, project uh, updated in the device manager so yeah so you could also do um, also just make sure uh, you could add So this is it. Uh, so we have added all the device manager um, uh, manager with the latest devices. Uh, so this is the way uh, we build um, build the offline database for any site. Um, so this is much quicker, and uh, you could just restore this backup um, of the rep job uh, to a different uh, location. So thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you would like to uh, discuss more on any alerton systems. I would be happy to share a video. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye